The women's 1960 Senior National AAU Indoor Swimming and Diving Championships takes place in Bartlesville, Oklahoma. The girls should be putting forth their best efforts to warm up for the August Olympic trials in Detroit. Get set for action of plenty as six mermaids start the 200-yard butterfly event. Now to a quick lead is Ann Bancroft of Berkeley, California. She can't hold it for long as Becky Collins of the Indianapolis Riviera Club makes her move and goes to the front. Being pressed a bit on the last lap by Sylvia Ruska, the defending champ, Miss Collins shows an all-conquering form to be a repeat winner in the time of 2 minutes 16 and 9 tenths seconds. This is just a tenth of a second under her own American and championship marks. In the three-meter diving competition, the reverse one-and-a-half seems to be a favorite selection. This is third-place finisher Juno Irwin of the Los Angeles Athletic Club. Now runner-up Patsy Willard of Phoenix, Arizona, who was the winner of the one-meter competition. And here's the champ, Irene McDonald, showing the form that wins the three-meter title for the Los Angeles AC. This meant sweet revenge for Irene, who had lost to Patsy Willard in the one-meter event. Now back to the swimmers and the 250-yard freestyle. Donna Graham shoots quickly into the lead. The blonde-haired 16-year-old Chris Von Salza isn't far behind and soon strokes her way into the front spot. Jones Blaine of Houston draws even on the second lap, but Chris is right back in front. All told, during the meet, Chris was involved in setting seven records. Before this event, she twice lowered the 100-yard freestyle mark and lowered the 500-yard freestyle record. The almost invulnerable Von Saltz uh, spurts on the final lap for a new American and meet record of 2 minutes 38 and 4 tenths seconds, beating her own record set in the afternoon preliminary. In the 400-yard medley relay, the leadoff swimmers begin with the backstroke. And in the near lane, off to a lead for the Los Angeles Athletic Club is Lynn Falterman. On the second lap, Santa Clara's Lynn Burke, an individual double winner, overtakes Miss Falterman and takes over the lead. Her teammate, Ann Warner, dives into the breaststroke part of the event. and keeps the lead for the West Coast Swim Club. On lap three, using the butterfly stroke, Kathy Semisek makes the judges check their clocks closely as she continues to make Santa Clara the leader. Now the exciting fourth and final freestyle 100 yards and it's Chris Von Salsa to swim for Santa Clara. Chris sets a scintillating pace to lead her team to a new American and meet record of four minutes 16 and two tenths seconds, breaking Santa Clara's own mark set just a few hours earlier in the prelims by four and a half seconds. Santa Clara wins the team championship with a runaway total of 83 points, and the medal winners gather round with high hopes of more of the same come the Olympic Games. 